Hey guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. So in this video, we're actually going to go over Never Bounce and how to use it to verify your own leads. So since I run Leads and Lines Agency, I often get asked, you know, how I verify my clients' lead lists and this is what we use and this is the exact procedure that we follow. So let's get straight into it. I don't want to waste your time. So as you can see on the screen right here, we've got a real estate marketing agency list of about 123 leads. So all you want to do is have a Google Sheet with your uh, clientele. You can have all sorts of columns. It doesn't care. All you have to do is download and download the file as it's .csv. Now this is the most important. Don't download it as any other. Do it as .csv. You can then come to Never Bounce and you'll be taken to this dashboard right over here. All you want to do is click on Add List and you'll be taken to this and which is where you want to click and you want to upload your list. So if I find my list, here you go, real estate marketing agency list and it'll load up over here. It usually takes about a minute or so to actually process, but it's very easy to do so. Uh, there you go, it's already processed and now it'll show up on my dashboard right over here. Um, as you can see, I've already gotten some list done over here. So now you've got two options with Never Bounce. You've got analyze your list for free and you've gotten the paid list. So what you want to do is analyze your list for free first. Uh, a lot of times it shows that, you know, it's a less than 1% bounce rate. So you may not need to actually uh, do any sort of a thing. So uh, as you can see, it's automatically doing the validation for me. Uh, I'll just pause the video right here and come back to you once it's done. So as you guys can see, the estimated bounce rate is now showing at 5%. So that means obviously the list needs to be cleaned. So this list I've taken so that you guys can see how a bouncing list looks like. So if I would have sent this list out, 5% of these leads would have bounced. So now I wanna do is clean my list. Now you've got two options. You've got pay using credit and you've got pay using your credit card. So I usually pre-fill on credits. I'll show you how you can buy bulk credits. So now it will just start to do this on your own. I'll just take you through the pricing procedure. So more than 10,000 credits makes sense for you in case, otherwise you can just use your credit card to bill as per your list. But I usually buy like 10,000 credits a month, which usually costs me $50, uh, which comes down to 0 0.0050 price per credit. And if you buy 1,000 credits, it will be about $8, which will be about 0 0.008. So you can see the difference between the two pricing. And if you know that you're gonna be sending out a particular number of emails per month, you can just buy the discounted rate and just get with it. Like, you know, I haven't ever bought 1 million, but like for 100,000, it's 400 and then you're set because it's 0 0.04. So you're basically getting a 50% directly off. And yeah, as you can see, we've got our list now back. It says valid are 77, except all are 26, unknown are 10, and invalid are 10. Now you've got an option to download if i click on download i'll be able to download only the deliverables I'll, I'll i'll be able to download only the undeliverables or all results now i usually like to download the deliverables which basically means uh, we'll be getting all the deliverable emails that we'll be able to send out but what you can do with all results is as well is you can just download all results and i'll show you how the file looks like so as you can see if you download the all results file it's just opening up right over here in numbers uh, you'll be able to see that they make a column basically saying what the list looks like. So for example, you can see valid, valid, accept all, invalid, unknown. And what I like to basically do after that is just to uh, make sure that our list is all good to go. So you can just see that, you know, you can sort it into ascending or descending. If I sort this into ascending, you can see I've got all my invalids in one row. I've got all my unknowns over here. And I can usually, you can send it out to accept all emails, but I won't suggest it, use valid only. And there you go. That's how basically you can use uh, Never Bounce for your own agency and for your own email list. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, hit the like button and subscribe down below. And you can buy leads and lines through www.onelineapps.com or reach out to me on Facebook. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.